good afternoon everyone and uh, i would like to again welcome you to the day 2 of autocar professional ev forum we now move into the technical presentation session and uh, again we have two presentations lined up for the day the first up it's going to be from eaton on the topic ev system safety which will include high voltage circuit protection in evs and switching to overcome the conventional protection protection contradictions for overall system safety i would like to extend a very warm welcome to mr vijay gopal panchangam engineering manager systems engineering validation and product engineering mechanical systems eaton corporation mr vijay gopal has extensive experience in leading captive engineering teams through strategic uh, strategic direction planning in alignment with business strategy strategies talent and process development he has over 23 years of experience in leading application engineering product development and program management in various sectors including automotive industrial and aerospace before i hand it over i would request our attendees to share their questions in the q and a box and we will take them up after the presentation gets over over to you mr vijay kopar very good afternoon mayank i uh, hope i am audible and yes, you can see thank you mayank um, i am privileged to be a part of this uh, ev forum session today and i really thank for this opportunity so with that i would like to get started as mayank said i am here to talk about uh, you know how eaton is helping our customers uh, and you know the society in terms of you know adoption to this ev so let me get started so let me play a short video just to set the context and then we will get started Again, let me start with an introduction about our company. Um, Eaton is a power management company which has presence in 175 countries. Um, our, you know, mission statement is to help our customers manage the toughest challenges in power, be it be mechanical or electrical power, in a safe, reliable, efficient, and sustainable manner. Our, you know, global presence gives us a strategic advantage. Um, to help our customers on the field and on the ground irrespective of where our customers are located we have a very good presence you know in, with respect to the engineering uh, and innovation centers across the uh, key locations spread out both from east to west and uh, and and our you know uh, people are ready to serve the customers uh, wherever they are located coming to india um, eaton has a good presence and a strong domain expertise in the commercial transmissions and then on the engine air management solutions be it be the valve train lifting system the cylinder deactivation system and then some of the advanced you know uh, lash adjustment systems uh, that the modern ic engines demand we have three manufacturing facilities uh, in india and there's a good you know amount of service network available and uh, this is a large innovation center which is up with the state of art facilities even for you know the electric vehicles verification and validation so we've been here and our reputation and trust as a reliable supplier to the vehicle industry has been proven over the decades now at eaton you know we are committed to you know safely reliably and efficiently and sustainably manage the power that's one of our mission statement and with the mega trends and the adoption of electric vehicles 
as uh, our uh, md shailendra mentioned you know we are tasked to you know respond quickly with innovations that really perform and inspire uh, our customers and also you know while we do this we manage the dynamics of the market regulations and increasing cost pressures uh, we all understand that electric vehicle consumers have a very high safety uh, efficiency and technology demands if i have to put it in a perspective you know myself i am a mechanical engineer and i have worked on vehicles in the past think about you know a, a typical uh, c segment car and uh, a transmission inside the car would be like 70 80 kilograms which will manage a power of let's say 100 kilowatt and uh, in a electric vehicle you are talking about managing a similar power with a traction inverter which would probably weigh around less than 10 kilograms so you can imagine the amount of technology demand the power density you know that we have to manage and that puts a lot of uh, you know that puts a lot of uh, opportunities ahead of us to innovate and respond to it and eaton is conveniently you know placed uh, in this industry uh, we have the combined you know experience of electric uh, electric products as well as you know the vehicle industry um, eaton has been a pioneer in uh, electric sector be it be in the power management protection and then power distribution combining that and our expertise in vehicle uh, with the extensive knowledge to understand the duty cycles the profiles and then uh, the 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 dynamics that go along with the vehicles uh, it positions us uniquely and our focus is on you know uh, three key areas as you see on the slide so starting from power electronics managing the electrical power and then managing the mechanical power uh, to to you know to help our customers make the systems compact and then the key aspect of electric vehicles you know which is the safety the power distribution and protection which does safety and reliability distribute the power so today for this uh, discussion i would talk about you know how we are overcoming the challenges of managing this uh, high uh, voltage and high current safety so before i get there maybe i would spend a moment here to set the context on uh, the requirements of the market if you see you know one of the uh, few of the key drivers that are going to accelerate the penetration of electric vehicles or adoption of electric vehicles is going to be definitely the charging time reduction as we all know you know one barrier that we have in the mind or is mind blockers you know um, how much time it's going to take uh, for me to charge the vehicle it may not play a big role you know in a city commute obviously you can charge the vehicle overnight leave it at your home and charge it and uh, uh, thanks to the government as well as you know the private players with respect to the infrastructure wherein at most public places and many companies are starting to adopt the, uh, adopt the charging solutions so the key factor is going to be decreasing the charging time and one way that's going to be achieved is with the high voltage system and then of course increase range i think we are all aware that uh, in the battery domain there's been a lot of innovation now battery density uh, the current capacity of uh, you know the batteries have come a, come a long way uh, from where we are to where we are today uh, so the battery capacity is going to increase the range and both these you know factors combined is going to help uh, our customers to you know launch a variety of models that gives a choice of vehicles for a customers to use it having said that you know higher system voltage will have many advantages definitely it's going to you know allow for fast charging it's going to allow for operations with lower currents and uh, you know higher power for the same power you would need lower currents and also it can help to optimize the size of the motors and uh, the batteries thereby you know it can help to reduce the weight now, one of the key factor in terms of performance is weight so with this being said it is going to also pose a challenge with high system voltage and high fault currents needless to say um, this comes with you know certain certain challenges and that's what i would like to touch upon how we at eaton are you know uh, positioned to address this so if you look at the vehicle protection uh, here is a simplified layout of a conventional electric vehicle um it starts with you know the battery which is going to store the energy and then the battery is going to transfer the energy 
through this power distribution unit into the motor. Of course, there is an inverter which converts the DC into AC, and then that's going to feed the uh, motor. So in between, if you notice, there are two protection devices that are there. Uh, one is a fuse, which uh, kind of provides protection against the overload and short circuit events. And then you have a contactor, which is going to switch, uh, the, uh, switch the power based on the current needs. And also the contactor will do a bi-directional operation when the power is need to flow from battery to motor, uh, vice versa, during the generation from motor into the battery. Uh, so this is a this is a simplified and very conventional uh, protection system. However, when we start getting into high voltages, uh, there are going to be some inherent challenges. And let's take a look at what are those challenges and how you know we could uh, we are positioned to overcome this challenge. So here is a typical dilemma uh, that uh, you know the manufacturers are going to be faced with. Um, these are the typical load situations with respect to the current in, in the electric vehicle. Uh, typically, during the normal driving conditions, you will see the current ranges between you know, uh, 0 to 200 amps. And then when it comes to fast charging, you are going to charge it at a little higher current load. And uh, whenever there is an overload and short circuit, which does happen, the overload conditions does happen in vehicle because of the start-stop and then because of uh, the uh, the uh, change in acceleration, deceleration, and several factors are going to cause overload. And then of course, short circuit due to various reasons. Uh, so these are the four different load situations. And to address these situations, we have you know, provided the protection, the conventional protections in the form of a fuse and a contactor. And a contactor will take care of these two events and fuse will come into play whenever there is you know, uh, this extreme load situations that occur. As we move into you know, the high voltage situations, uh, two of these situations could occur. Uh, one, there is a sudden you know, spike in overload or short circuit, and the fuse will take time to you know, uh, respond. It responds at a uh, delayed time. Typically, you know, around it takes around a couple of seconds to respond, and that would cause an overload failure. Uh, basically, it will, it will put the contactors to weld or melt, and that could become a safety issue, and it can damage the electronics before we realize that there is a failure. And then the contactor, you know, trips too soon. You know, when the when the current, you know, overflows, uh, the contactor will trip too soon, and again, it will cause a nuisance to the operator or the uh, customer, and it could become a potential safety issue. And you can see that there is a gap wherein you know the coordination between the fuse and contactor is a key challenge that the industry would face, uh, the vehicles would face when uh, we move into high voltage systems. So to overcome this, you know we have to manage this uh, three requirements. One of the big challenge that we have talked about is the coordination between the fuse and contactor. So these are the three key requirements which we'll have to balance. Uh, one. First and foremost is the safety, safety of the operator or the customer, and then safety of the asset, and then of course the safety of the environment, which gets triggered by the external events and the inter internal dy dynamics. And then uh, inherently, the, being a high voltage system, there's going to be a lot of uh, increase in voltage and current levels, so to manage the power levels. And last but not the least, you know, the third most important requirement is uh, the functionality and uh, the speed at which it will respond. So what Eaton does, uh, what Eaton did is, you know, it brought in the combined expertise uh, from the industrial controls uh, in the form of uh, the uh, circuit breakers and contactors. So Eaton has, you know, combined the uh, fuse and contactor into one product, which is an innovative product called uh, Breakter. And uh, this gives protection against overload and short circuit and switching at a rated current in a single package. Traditionally, you know, allowing you to eliminate the combination of a fuse and contactor with a product called Breakter. And Breakter is very innovative solution, uh, exclusively you know, combining the industrial motor controls and circuit protection knowledge that Eaton has over several decades. And it protects the main power line from battery to inverter by combining these two components. Uh, it is switchable and uh, it can, it can uh, function in one unit 
and it is also resettable and and operate in bi direction uh, it can operate up to you know voltages of 1000 volts and currents up to 30000 amps and once you know the function is uh, tested or the the circuit trips there is always a facility to you know reset it which will avoid uh, the visit to a service station or taking it to an expert to get it uh, you know reset it also current limiting features uh, both uh, direction irrespective of the current flow and uh, combined with that you know it provides a very high functional safety uh, last but not the least it is uh, configurable and it is available for uh, multipole systems which uh, is a very innovative and uh, you know one stop solution for uh, the high voltage uh, systems and I think the bottom line here is about the improved quality and simplified architecture by combining the switching and resettable uh, bidirectional protection. Now, uh, if you look at the next generation, architectures are going to drive the innovation. The systems are going to go higher and higher in voltage uh, to, to help you know, the adoption uh, by overcoming the range anxiety as well as the time required to charge the vehicles. Uh, the system should be able to withstand uh, very high current levels over 275 amps, which is a normal operating condition, and then should be able to break you know, high voltage arcs. Um, actively and passively you know, provide safety in case of a power loss, and also you know, work in tandem with the other functional safety elements of the vehicle. So, uh, apart from this, Eaton is also a pioneer in the other areas, as I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, we have you know, solutions uh, to manage the electric powers, ranges of traction inverters, DC-DC converters, onboard charges, and then to manage the uh, commercial vehicle, commercial electric vehicle systems, we have power systems and transmissions which are well suited for the electric vehicles commercial applications, two-speed and four-speed, medium-duty as well as uh, heavy-duty electric vehicle transmissions. And then, of course, I touched upon the power distribution and protection uh, to manage the safe uh, and reliable power in the system. Uh, so we have fuses, breakers, power distributions. And again, Eaton, Eaton fuses are well-known in the industry and uh, known for their performance. So combined with this and our expertise in the uh, electrical as well as vehicle domain, we are poised to you know, address the toughest challenges our customers are going to face or already facing. And uh, our unique position with this electrical and vehicle expertise is going to help. So with that, I would like to conclude and uh, Eaton would be glad to hear and uh, encourage you to go and learn more about us at uh, our website, www.eaton.com. And you can see a host of information and uh, plenty of videos which talk about you know, the product development that we are doing, the products that we have to offer, and the innovations that Eaton is bringing in. With that, thank you very much. Thanks for uh, the time. Uh, back to Mayank. Thank you, Mr. Vijaykopal. That was a very detailed presentation indeed. Um, I would request the attendees, you know, if they have any questions, they can just type in their uh, in the Q&A box. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Vijaykopal, I, I have one question for you. Pardon me if it sounds very layman, but I just want to understand, uh, you know, with the EVs and, you know, there's this uh, constant fear about short circuiting, you know, if there is a rain or anything. So if you could just shed some light there, how do you protect the entire uh, electrical system uh, on board an EV? Yeah. Um, good question, Mayan. Certainly, you know, uh, as you are aware, and as our panelists also touch base in the morning, electric vehicles are going to uh, have a much more stringent requirement in terms of functional safety. Uh, so the vehicles have to comply with the functional safety, uh, not only at the system level, at the component level. So it starts with the selection of the components. So one of the examples that I gave you is a breaker, which is a safety compliant device. Uh, apart from that, if you look at the inverter, if you look at the connectors, if you look at the other you know, uh, components that are there in the system, uh, the the embedded you know kind of uh, software and the software has to be developed uh, to perform the safety functions and then the the controllers the, the chips that you use the electronic components that you use everything is rated for certain safety 
so with this safety level at the component and then at the system safety level right um, i would say uh, the user should not worry about it and as i told you with the currently the industry is limited up to let's say 500 volts and we are going to see much higher currents uh, much higher voltage systems being adopted and it is going to get more difficult in the higher voltage systems whereas in the lower voltage systems the combination of a fuse and the contactor and relays will very well do the job and there is no need to worry about any safety concern other functional safeties are taken care by your inverter by your onboard charges and so on and so forth so of course high voltage is going to create certain you know uh, contradicting challenges but i think the industry is prepared and as i talked the technology is available and uh, it is deployed and uh, that's going to help you know uh come over any safety issues or concerns sure thank you thank you so much mr vijay kapal for that answer uh we are running short of time i'll just take one question uh which is from mr mr sumit he wants to understand does eaton also work on 48 volt system which have motor mcu onboard charger and compressors yes eaton does work on 48 volt system as i as i showed in the uh in the layout of our focus areas we don't have motors but we work through with our partners to integrate you know our uh, uh, our other electric system components so we do have inverters 48 volt inverters and then uh, modules for uh, the power distribution and then the dc dc converters uh, mcus yes we have we have the know how and expertise to develop but it is not commercialized so yes of course we are very active in the 48 volt systems be it be for automotive as well as for commercial applications Sure. I'll take one more related question, which is from Mr. Amay Kulkarni. So he wants to understand: Do you have any solutions uh, related to CV truck truck application? Yes, um, Eaton is very much you know working on commercial vehicles. Uh, we do have DC DC. Uh, 